Welcome back to this video guys. So today we are going to discuss about the multi-bagger stocks. So in this video I will be discussing about 6 multi-bagger stocks and uh, to, the point to be noted is that I will be not giving you 100% of uh, uh, multi-baggers because no one in the world can give you 100% of multi-baggers. They, they will lose money. Uh, if they are investing in the 10 stocks, only 4 to 5 stocks will be giving you the multi-bagger returns and your actual returns may be about uh, 50 to 60% uh, in a year. So this is all about the potential multi-bagger stocks and uh, if you if you are investing in these stocks, please be cautious and if you are a new investor to the stock market, please don't invest in these kind of stocks. So uh, if you consider, if you are a new investor, please uh, exit from this video. If you are already an intermediate level investor or high level investor, please watch till the uh, end of the video. So I was already bought these stocks. I all, already you know communicated with you in my community post. If you are not follower of my YouTube channel, please subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you can get uh, my portfolios, daily market updates and also what I was buying and I was selling in the stock market and uh, there are a lot of people on Quora asked me that uh, please uh, give me uh, double you know multi bagger stocks two months two eggs it's a it's a it's a trap please uh, understand we came here to you know to invest our money and gain some profits and uh, we are not here for gambling we are not here for you know lose our capital we are we should be keeping our money in the safe bets and uh, today I will be going to discuss about that kind of stocks. They are fundamentally good and they are had risk associated with every stock. So I will be explaining the risk factor and I will be explaining the uh, factors that will make these uh, stocks as multi -bagger. The first one is uh, my, uh, the Delta Corporation. I already done video. I already had done video with it. Um, this video, this uh, video gave uh, you know good returns. Like um, you know not good returns. This is already a very good potential stock and I was explaining in that stock why I was investing in this stock and today morning uh, there was a news uh, there, there was a news that 28% uh, on gaming was uh, imposed and as I said the, the Delta Corporation most of their 80% of their ca casinos are offline and only 20% of uh, not 20% also about 13 to 14% of uh, uh, the business was in online business and 6% is in hospitality. So there is, there is no impact, these 28% uh, uh, is already imposed on the offline gaming few years before. So from 2020, it was already had the taxation of 28% 20, 20, 20, in offline gaming. For online gaming casinos only, they are imposed. So is there any problem with it? There was a slight problem, like, uh, like for this 18% there will be some problem because the taxation rate was increased. But the main business that Delta Corporation was doing is uh, the offline business so I think there is not much risk associated with it but also note uh, note that point this these uh, Delta Corporation uh, stock is very high risk because it was under the regulation so if the government want to ban in some state like Telangana or you know these uh, seven casinos or in Goa, Sikkim and Daman if, if they want uh, to ban in Goa or Sikkim or Daman then their market capitalization uh, you know that market not capitalization the market of this business will be going to effect so that's why keeping in mind it was always uh, it is always risky there is a potential of gaining of uh, about uh, 80 to 100 percent in just one to one and a half year so that's why I put this stock in the multi-bagger and there are a risk associated with it please understand that and uh, see here I think uh, the the FIA is also buying this and the DA is also buying this because they know that uh, these will be not going to you know fall like anything they are bought it and uh, the stock is trading at uh, 184 I bought it somewhere average price is 196 uh, it goes down I will be averaging it if it goes down some more because I am I am seeing that if it goes to 178 or 179 I will be going to average it or else um, let's see what are the market conditions as I said I will be updating in the community post so please follow my youtube channel and subscribe to my youtube channel so this is the first uh, uh, stock that I was invested in finance Avas, uh, I was already invested in a very good amount like uh, 3 to percent 3 to 4 percent of my portfolio I already uh, kept my portfolio in my community tab so you go and check it once and also see uh, the Avas finance it is a financial business it gives home loans for the low middle class and middle class people who are not uh, you know uh, go if, if they go to the HDFC bank, uh, the application may reject. So these uh, uh, clients are basically or a very high risk kind of people they don't have you know annual salary or monthly salary associated with them. So that's why 
there was yeah, some risk associated with Abbas Finance, but see here, um, we are growing country, the GDP of our country is growing and also we are planning to expand uh, you know our gdp we are going to into top three the modi was saying and a lot of people so are saying uh, if uh, after you know 30 years we will be go entering into the uh, 40 30 trillion mark so in this uh, in these cases the people who are buying the houses will be you know skyrocketed already we had inflated you know inflated our uh, prices in the real estate somewhere in hyderabad there was 100 crores of this will be keep on increasing uh, when the gdp increases so per capita increases these uh, abbas finance these housing loan this will be compulsory increasing so if you check my portfolio there are uh, most of the stocks in my portfolio are banking sector stocks and also this finance kind of stocks so this is uh, one main thing that abbas finance uh, will be increasing because it is also a beaten down stock uh, it was beaten about from 3000 to 1500 i bought it um, i was uh, updating in my uh, you know community post about when i was buying and how much i was buying and uh, these uh, these are all uh, the CAGR. see the CAGR also there was 35.8 percent CAGR, and there is a made in sales growth of 43.8 percent for the last 10 years so that's why i'm saying this may give you uh, the uh, this may become a multi bagger it may go uh, you know skyrocket rate right once again so th this kind of stocks will be giving you aggressive return so this will be jumping from 5% to 10% in within two days for example uh, I told about angel one broking few days before uh, two three days four days before it was uh, about three percent loss in my portfolio and now I was sitting at 12% of profits in my in angel one I had done video about it so please go and check it out and uh, I was uh, I was sitting at a very good profit of 12% as of now and uh, same like that these hours finance also this will be jumping like anything so there was a uh, some problem so today the RBA told that the, the interest rates were the same the 6.5% so that's why uh, there will be a side problem uh, for this quarter if the interest rate will decrease then people are going to you know take the home loans and uh, build their uh, houses so that's uh, that's the key reason why I was invested in the Avas Finance. If it, it is, uh, if it is again falling, then I will be going to invest in that stock again. And uh, this this is the second stock that I was telling about. And the third stock. So this is a pharmaceutical stock, and it is uh, had a risk of uh, you know exports. So in in our country there uh, there are a lot of regulations on imports. So please understand that if the exports duties was increased or anything happens in the export, so these regulations is under the government control. So if something happens in the exports, then the stock will fall uh, definitely. So I was uh, I was I already bought this uh, for pharmaceutical stock a few days before, and uh, I was sitting at a very good profit. So very good profits means I was sitting at a 32, roughly 32 percent of profits. I was also, uh, you know, uh, updated in my community post about this uh, two weeks before, and uh, uh, you know, I think many people doesn't bought this uh, grand, uh, grand form of pharmaceutical stock, but it gave me quite high returns. It was jumped from somewhere around 1,300. I bought somewhere around averaging at 1,300. Now I was sitting at a very good profits of 1,600. And is, uh, is there any potential to growth? Yes, because it, was, it is also a beaten down stock from 4000 to uh, about 1660. So uh, here uh, you should understand why it was happened. Let me explain you. Let us uh, go to the PPD and uh, understand why it was fallen. The reason, the main reason that was they bought uh, a, they, uh, let me show you uh, somewhere here. Yeah. Uh, they bought uh, the Sen uh, Senix acquisition which is in Europe this was also a pharmaceutical company they acquired it and uh, it was in losses so they acquired it so people thought that uh, this this uh, the profits may decline of course the profits are declined but see when you are investing in some company you can't get your um, returns in one to two days it's a scam right so after 15 years, after two to years uh, two to three years you will be getting 100 percent of your profits that how it works that's that's how the business works we are you know salaried people we thought we are going to think that these stocks will be going up uh, when when uh, when we are keeping well, i kept uh, it today like 500 rupees or 1000 rupees and tomorrow morning it should be about 3000 4000 no it will be not going in that way so if you are uh, that mentality please don't invest in stocks go and invest in some fixed deposits they will give they will be giving in the monthly basis so <clears throat> that's why and they are again this land pharma uh, please check it out i already checked it out uh, they are after the you know opening of that production point uh, plant 
then uh, automatically the sales will be increasing the revenue will be increasing and the profits will be increasing when the profit increases the stock price is also increases so it's as simple as that so this is my third um, third multi bagger stock fourth multi bagger stock is that uh, it is also the exp uh, export oriented stock uh, please understand that uh, these also comes with the uh, pro some problem that is uh, rajesh exports um, i already done video about that if you want to uh, go and check it out please check it out it was my first video in my youtube channel so if you want to go and check out please uh, check it out and uh, this this is a potential multi bagger stock uh, in the few years why i was uh, telling is that the uh, you know it is it is operating 30% of 35% of exports uh, during 35% uh, of gold production in the world so the gold prices if the gold prices will be going up then automatically the rajesh exports will be beneficiary from them so the uh, stock pe is was trading at 10.8 and uh, the book value is 499 it was uh, trading at 523 and see this it is also a beat and down stock from 850 to somewhere around it was trading at 522 i was invested somewhere around 552 and i was uh, lose i was at a minus 5% uh, in my you know stock i i was not bother about it because i know i had a conviction on things of uh, this rajesh exports that's why i was invested in these stocks if it is going down like 500 uh, rupees i will be averaging it and uh, i will be gaining some more profits okay so uh, see this this is a market leader so in the top 3 it is also there see the pe ratios of all these and the uh, rajesh exports has 10.77% uh, the market capitalization is good uh, the net profits is good the uh, all, all things are good but the risk is that the rajesh exports has a problem with the exports so the regulations might uh hit uh, these stocks a lot so that's why i was saying uh, uh this stock may be a problem with you and there was a other problem with the management issue there was a audit problem but i am not considering it because the audit was already available in the uh, uh, in this greener and uh, they missed some you know some kind of uh, um, material uh, that should be produced to you know give it to sebi sebi but uh, it uh, there was might some files missed with it so that's that's the reason the stock price uh, fall a lot but see here uh, it's not uh, you know uh, this there was a uh, some problem with the management issue the ceo was also uh, the directors also you know got to jail so several times so that's why this is the fourth stock and this can be a multi bagger has it is a beat and down stock if all things good then this will be going to give me good returns so this is my fourth stock and uh, the fifth stock is krbl which is also a export stock and uh, this is a uh, basmati right producers and uh, it was saying me that uh, see here india's first integrated rice company so it was sitting at a very good profit i was also sitting at a very good profits of i don't know 4 to 5% 5% uh, uh, and uh, see here the sales was increased uh, consistently increasing the sales was consistently increasing the profit before tax also the consistently re, uh, increasing and see here the obm was also increasing from the last uh, three quarters and uh, and, uh, and as i said the net profit also increased so uh, there are potential risk with the exports for the krbl i was invested in the stock quite a bit i will be you know uh, i will be exiting the stock when it uh, came from somewhere around you know let me show you yeah somewhere around uh, 3 4 500 550 rupees because it has a uh, quite beat and down and uh, these stock might uh, you know give 100% of returns in just 2 to 3 years so this is my fourth stock and the fifth stock is uh, the angel one broking i already done about uh, this video uh, if you don't uh, know about uh, this please go and check uh, check my video i was also told uh, i was invested in this stock i was uh, posted in my community tab i always keep uh, updated with you guys so see here and uh, this one which is uh, uh, which is angel one so uh, what business they will do their their, their main business is broking so brokerage service and also they all doing the financial service so what financial service they are providing the margins right uh, for if i was a intraday trader they will be providing me fix type of margins so that's why it uh, will be come under the financial service and also uh, all of uh, also the you know brokerage uh, firm so the uh, sales was decreased why there was a some problem with angel one uh, for the 6 months i think 6 months to 8 months so be banned uh, to acquire new users i think and the exceed the expenses uh, about 487 crores and uh, operating for 
operating profit was 3.0 and see here the operating profit percentage is very very high so if the operating 40 percentage is 40 percent then you know you are uh, sitting at a very uh, you are investing in a very good stock so they are operating profit is very good and they are keep on increasing with the year to year growth so please uh, see year to year growth 47 121 182 and 221 so they are uh, sitting in a good, very good profits this was increasing and uh, please consider that when the bull run like uh, there were if there was a bull run then people think that we are missing out some opportunity and they will be coming and opening the demat accounts in the brokerage firms like angel one five paisa and a lot of uh, a lot of uh, you know a lot of shops so here i was uh, you know i was inclined to watch this because of uh, its uh, service or uh, because of its financial margin it may be next to zero the I can say if you if you doesn't check out my video please go and check out I explain it in a beautiful manner and uh, and this is all about it the sales and interest the operating profit was good and it will be expanding because only six crores of people was invested in the stock market there will be if you are going uh, uh, you know increasing the GDP per capita income of uh, India then they will be investing in the stock market uh, and more than the more than the fixed deposits so this is my fifth stock and uh, let's quickly jump into the sixth and final stock uh, this is about uh, the uh, different uh, this is about serious I don't want to you know name one company I will be giving uh, three to four companies so the first one is CDSL same as I said we are at a good bull run when the bull uh, run starts this will be going very in a very high manner and one more thing you should consider is that uh, CDSL is a like monopoly kind of stock there was in NSDL but uh, see the CDSL has more depository services I had done video uh, according to CDSL so please go and check it out and uh, the other one is Camps India Camps India is also same depository services so there are uh, these are registers to, to uh, mutual funds like HDFC bank and a lot more uh, for this Camps India also it is a kind of monopoly and uh, the register the barrier for these CDSL and Camps India is very high so the Camps India and CDSL are my sixth specific stock if you want uh, you know video about uh, CDSL and Camps I already done videos I will be putting uh, uh, in this i button so please go and check it out so for today uh, that's all these are the multi baggers so uh, be patient uh, because it may turn in one year it may turn in two years and uh, some some high risk stocks like uh, Ajesh Exports, uh, KRBL and there are a lot of uh, high risk stocks associated with them associated within this video so if you are a new investor I am once again saying please don't invest in the stock and uh, please subscribe to my channel please like the video and share with your friends thank you guys